gentleman. When a guy is a gentleman and is like nice and kind and gentlemanly, that's like, whoa, okay. <laughs> like, yes, yes, please take my hand. Yes, okay. That opens the door. Yeah. I don't know about, I don't know if that's really true though. I feel like you guys just say that, but sometimes what? y'all are like, sometimes y'all girls are like, you know, he's a little too nice for me. And so I just feel like, I just feel like y'all just say that just to say it really. I that's, feel like y'all okay, really, I will want, like, expound. A, I feel like y'all are really attracted to like player dudes. What? Over <laughs> if I'm being honest. No. No. <laughs> <That's- laughs> That's not true, but I (laughs) I will say, I will say, I will say, I will say. Woo, I'm crying. Uh, I think what he... Look, look, Branson's speaking the truth. Who said that? (laughs) Who said that? See? Branson. Look at this. Branson's speaking the truth. Facts. Everybody's facts. Straight facts. Well, girls, let's be honest. Let the girls be honest. If a guy there there is a difference between there's a happy medium. Okay, okay. Okay. There's, okay, there's a happy medium. There's not a single ounce of simping in Branson's pimping. If a woman can't tell you what she wants for dinner, how is she gonna be able to tell you what she wants in a man? Women are drawn to men that are competent and scarce. And when they say I want a man to be nice to me, the translation is I want a man that is competent and scarce because he has opportunities with other women to only be nice to me. The only problem is most women can't tell off face value if if a man is competent or scarce. So if I walk into a room and I'm respected by every man in the room, that probably means that I'm competent because most men respect competence. Once women realize that all the men respect me, they're gonna start to pay attention and that's gonna make me seem scarce. The truth of the matter is for most people, perception is reality. And here's a big life hack for men, especially men that like to go on dates. Get one or two places that you frequent and get to know the people that work there. Get to know the owner, get to know the bartender, get to know the waiters and waitresses. So when you walk in is what's up Brandon, what's up Jeremy, what's up Kim? Everybody's gonna treat you with a certain level of respect and it's gonna make you seem higher value. And you actually will be higher value because you'll have genuine social connections. And when I talk about scarcity, I'm not just saying scarcity in terms of having opportunities with other women. I'm also talking about scarcity for your time. If you're sitting there texting a woman you just met all day, it shows her, one, you don't have anything better to do with your time, and two, you're not leaving anything up for the imagination. Not only that, but your messages will have less value because anything that we get a lot of, we tend to value less. If you text her at 11 p.m. on a Thursday saying, what are you doing on Saturday around 7 or 8? I have a restaurant I want to take you to. That's going to leave some mystery. That's going to leave some thrill. She's going to be interested if that date goes well throughout the rest of the week she's going to be thinking when is he going to text me again is he going to text me again i wonder what he's doing and as long as she's thinking about you she's going to be interested in you matter of fact i'm not even going to explain it i'm going to let the woman that was in the video explain it okay i'll be honest i want him to be just as affectionate as me okay but if i call you don't pick up all the time got it (laughs) sometimes i'm going to be left wondering what's he doing got it Cause that's kind of, cause though. it's like, if you on your shit and you working hard, you're not always worried about me. And for some reason that's kind of hot. Cause it's like you working on you. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Hold on. Let me, let me. <laughs> so what if we like them? What do we do? Do we say apples? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. I travel between Atlanta and Miami. So Atlanta and Miami. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing Atlanta? Wait, um, I do a lot. I do, I collab with other influencers. Like I do, a, like I model, advertising, um, marketing, just work with other brands. I recently, I did a film last summer and I started getting into acting, see what that's about. So that's kind of like what I've been wetting my feet with lately. Now as an only fan, if you guys were to date, how would you handle that? Honestly, I don't think I, I can I, can I be on? <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Wait, I was like, Pineapple. I wouldn't, I wouldn't date, I wouldn't date you, honestly. You I would date me. I would just hit, honestly. That's it. That's I would just, so I, would, I would just hit. But it's not, it's not like, it looks like I want to be with you either you know what i'm saying so you're just trying to play me right now you're just mad 
you did pineapple kick me out of here you yeah pineapple. yeah pineapple <laughs> It's funny how as soon as he hesitated, she tried to act like she wasn't interested because she didn't want to be rejected. Everybody knows if you ask a person what they do for a living and they give you three or four different answers, they're either broke or they're doing something they're not proud of. And can we just stop it? She's not a marketer. And if she was a marketer, she would respect his answer because she's marketing boobs and butt. So when I show up, I'm looking for boobs and butt. I don't care about your opinion on foreign trade. Let's just be honest. So we have a lot of controversy going on right now about men competing in women's sports. People sometimes ask, what's my take on it? Motherfucker, I'm here for it. Forgive me for being punny here, but we are the man. Bro, we're beating women's ass in wrestling, weightlifting, rugby. You all marched and fought for equality. Now you need to march your ass down to the gym and fight your way up that goddamn Stairmaster and stop taking all these fucking L's. I seriously don't give a fuck that we are dominating women's sports. And I have three daughters. When some dude with tits body slams her on the wrestling mat, I'm gonna laugh my fucking ass off. Men are amazing. Men are exceptional. And frankly, motherfuckers, I'm proud of all the hard work. Now, I don't know how you feel about the situation, but I'm starting to see a pattern here that maybe we're just not fucking equal. Holy shit. We even won woman of the year. <laughs> it's crazy because who would have thought we would be in a position where the same people that are fighting for women's rights are saying there's no such thing as gender. To add another layer to it, the same people that say you can't be born a man or a woman because those are social constructs will say you can be born LGBTQ. If gender is just a social construct and I can just become a woman because I feel like it, why take hormones? If you really think about it, it's kind of scary that there are grown adults that are allowed to vote that genuinely believe that if you slap a wig on LeBron James, he's now a woman. It's one thing to want to become a woman because you admire them and you think that they're beautiful, but what kind of grown man wants to become a woman so that you can just dominate them in their own sports and then claim you have no biological advantages, knowing damn well you have biological advantages? Do you guys know each other's body count? Nah. Would you be willing to admit it right now? Okay. Six. Six, okay. Probably like 12. 12, okay. But like I said, bro, I ain't covered yet. You ain't cover yet. Nah. How long have y'all been a, a couple? Like eight, seven months. That's why you walk home. Got him. The more resources you have, the more options you have. The more options you have, the more you can start making demands. But you gotta start somewhere, so you gotta start with the bronze armor before you get to the dragon armor. But that's fine, as long as you keep building your character. It's 2022, let's just be completely honest. We ain't going back to the 60s. So if you want a feminine woman that has a low body count, that's a seven, eight, or a nine, competition is fierce. But lucky for us men, our dating market value isn't really set in stone. And if we take care of ourselves, it will increase over time. So all we gotta do is keep climbing. Till next time.